Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to crochet the Elizabeth Afghan Square and if you are joining me for the Make It Your Way Crochet Along, this is week three, option one or option A for this crochet along. This is a beautifully textured square. The Elizabeth stitch is a very fun stitch to work. It creates a fairly thick fabric that is similar on both sides. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a worsted weight yarn. I'm using Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand and uh, this is a 100% acrylic yarn. You are going to need approximately 120 yards of uh, worsted weight yarn to complete the square. You are also going to need a 6 millimeter crochet hook or a J10. And uh, again, if you're working the crochet along, you're going to need to make four of these squares. So it's 120 yards per square. So thank you so much for joining me today. And if you haven't heard of the crochet along, be sure to check out the link down in the description of this video. Also in the description, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, check out some of the other videos there. The other two weeks for this crochet along have also been posted, so you'll find them under the Make It Your Way Crochet Along playlist. Let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started. Our square today is worked in rows, so you're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. My finished square measured approximately 11 uh, by 11 inches and if you would like to change the size of your square today you're going to need a multiple of two stitches plus four for your chains. Otherwise uh, my square I've worked 36 chains so we're going to start by chaining 36. and 36. Once you have 36 chains worked, you're going to begin row one by working a bean stitch in the fourth chain from your hook. So you're going to count in one, two, three, four. Into this fourth chain, you're going to work the bean stitch. To work your bean stitch, you're going to insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. You're then going to chain one, skip the next chain and work a bean stitch in the next chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, bean stitch in your next chain. All the way across where you will end with a bean stitch into that final chain. Once you come all the way across, you'll have worked a bean stitch into your final stitch. You're going to chain three and turn your work. For row two, we're going to start by working a bean stitch into the first chain one space. So you're skipping this first bean stitch and into the chain one space, the space between the first stitch and the next stitch, work one bean stitch. Chain one. 
skip the next bean stitch into the next chain one space work a bean stitch you're going to repeat this all the way across chain one skip the next stitch bean stitch in the next chain one space all the way across to your starting chain four Once you come all the way across, you'll have uh, one bean stitch remaining and then you're starting chain three. You're going to have your bean stitch chain one and then just work your final bean stitch under this starting chain. Then chain three and turn your work. Now for rows three through to 28, so for 26 more rows, you're simply going to repeat that row two. So work your bean stitch in the first chain one space, chain one, bean stitch in the next chain one space. So you're going to repeat your row two 26 more times. You'll have a total of 28 uh, bean stitch rows, uh, or more or less if you find that your piece is not quite square, uh, feel free to add more or less rows as needed. Once you have uh, come to the end of your square, you've worked a total of 28 rows, you can meet me back here. Once you have worked to row 28, this is what your square is going to look like. You're then ready to work a simple edging around the outside edge. So you're going to start, if you have already, you're going to, if you've already fastened off, you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch into the top corner stitch. You're then going to chain one and now evenly work 34 single crochet stitches all the way across the top of your square. Now you may find that you need to uh, add a stitch, uh, one or two stitches in order to get the 34, but you do want 34 stitches evenly across all the way across the top of your square. If you are changing the number of stitches, which you can also do, you just want to take note of it, especially if you're working the Make It Your Way blanket, you'll want to have the same number of stitches across the sides of your squares, um, uh, over all of your squares. So just make sure that you make note of any changes that you make. Once you've worked 34 single crochets all the way across, you're going to work one more single crochet into the corner. Then working along the rough side of your square, you're once again going to work 34 single crochet stitches. That's going to bring you all the way across your square to the other side. Uh, at that time, again, you're going to work a one single crochet in the corner, work along the bottom of your square, one in the corner, one up the side, one in the corner, and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Okay, so work 34 single crochets along each side of your square, followed by one in each corner, and then join, and uh, I'll show you that when I come around. Once you have worked single crochets all the way around the edge of your square, you finish off with that one single crochet in the corner stitch and then join with a slip stitch 
into your first stitch. You can then fasten off and weave in your ends and block the square if desired, but that is how you're going to work your Elizabeth Afghan square. So thank you so much for joining me. If you're working the Make It Your Way crochet along, once again, make three more of these squares and we will be joining them together very soon. So uh, until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.